Knoxville, Alabama is the team of Adam Mobb and Carlton Teague. They had 20.20. 20. That's some big weight. Come on up, guys. I have a sneaky suspicion we may learn something about a different technique used by this team. So let's just find out. Let me see if I can round everything up here for you guys. First of all, I'm going to let you put those medals on for me. Part of the Kentucky Outdoor Adventure Games for October 2015. They got third last year at the Classic. Third at the Classic right here last year, right? That's correct. All right. Guys, black for you to commemorate your finish. Now, let's see. Look at me. I may have to get Mike Capisano up here with us. He's the accountant because I got a stack of checks. Smile for me one more time. Perfect. Okay. First of all, I'm going to hand you a check for $3,000 for first place on the semi pro tie. That's just a start. I've got another $175 for second place on the big fish with that $215 that you have. I've got another check for $500 for you for the bonus from Talon. On behalf of Minn Kota Talon, we appreciate you running that. And on behalf of Cumberland Crappie Double Seat Rig, just like this right here, if you don't have one, there's one you need to shake and beat up on and see how it holds up because there's not a better one on the market today. I promise you that. We appreciate you running that. Another $200 bonus. I don't know what that shows up to other than it's a lot of money, right? Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Use right on the Cumberland uh, crappie deal. We've used a lot of them out there, made some, but that is by far the strongest unit of dual seat system we've ever used. Exactly. It has the strength, but not only does it have the strength, if you have a boat like I have, a lot of times we've got a rod locker or a storage compartment under the area where that double seat that rig needs to set up front, right? So you can't get in there if you've got a double seat rig in. Well, this one you can. You come up and look it over, check it out, and you'll see why. Because you can move each individual seat any way you need to at any time to move it over. So if you like to fish side by side with your partner up front, you need one of those if you don't have one of those. I promise you, you won't beat it out there. We, we're just like Adam and Carlton. We tried them all. We ended up right there. Been with them a long time. Never one time have we had a complaint on that product. It's made right here. The guys that own it are right back there. There's Ronald back there, Ronald Barker, Terry Barker fished the tournament. I don't think he's here right now, but if you have any questions on it, talk to Ronald and Donald back there. They'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, where were we fishing? We fished the south end of the lake. Uh, well, along with everybody else, it sounds like. Well, yeah, uh, I, I guess so. We, we, <laughs> we've moved around uh, quite a bit uh, here and there in uh, several different creeks. Um, just fish them a little while and leave and uh, you know uh, we, we love the lake we really enjoy coming here and that's why I told him I said hey, the leaves are going to be free let's go up there and fish. Exactly exactly so, well, we were glad to see you come up and fish with us uh, always a pleasure to have you. What technique were we using? Well uh, we cast a little bit from our uh, I'm going to so get it. It a, a little bit too. And, and where were you casting over brush or? We were casting over brush. Yeah. <laughs> Did he set up yet? My pilot grandpa? Nope. <laughs> was there any docks close to where you was fishing? We might have cast a dock or two. Here it is. We're <laughs> getting get closer. But I can tell you, one fish that we caught came off, off the dock. The reason I was really, really hinting at that, these boys are extremely good at shooting docks. We have several teams that are experts at shooting docks here. I'm going to be talking to another one in a few minutes, I'm sure. Yep. Don't you think? Oh, I think you will. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> but in any case, I know that that's a technique that has never been just uh, uh, the first technique out of the box here on Lake Cumberland, but it's a technique that does work from time to time. But it sounds like this year uh, they're holding on this wood. Uh, were they holding on uh, cover on edges of channels or anything in particular? Yeah, it, it had to be a, a break with a good drop on it. Uh, we caught a lot of fish suspended out there in 18, 35, 40 foot of water, suspended Find over the on, top of cover. Finding it on the electronics. That's right. Out above those Oven bird electronics, you can't beat them. And yeah. uh, we use that. And spider rigging, we always use uh, being in poles. Yeah. And uh, we used uh, stinger sheds, tipped with minnows, and some just straight minnows. But uh, 
early in the morning, low light, 6.30, can't see. Uh, it, was, it was in Stinger Shad doing pretty good. That's great, that's right. Any particular color work the best? Had to be a little bit of pink um, and white, blue and white. All right. And uh, how many total fish did they y'all caught in two days? Probably caught 15 a day and probably from around 25, 30 yesterday. That's pretty good. Well, you're just targeting those big ones anyway, right? Right. It was a lot better yesterday than it was today. That's good. You know, it uh, it can work both ways when that sun goes in or comes out. Depending on where, where you have found your fish, it may move them and move them on top of somebody else, right? That, that's exactly right. All right. Adam, it's always a Thank pleasure. You. Carlton, we appreciate it. Pleasure. Hey, give them a hand. Fantastic team. Thank you. Thank you.